Early on today, I had a vision whilst I was meditating. And in this vision, I saw two people standing in an open space in very bright light. They stood separately at first, and then they came together holding hands. As soon as they held hands, darkness began to creep in, overshadowing the light. In no time, the place became dark, so I couldn't see what was going on. And then I said, let there be light. And then I could see that the place had lighted up again. But then there was still some darkness, you know, somewhere like at the side of, of this open space. And then all of a sudden, a door appeared in the midst of the light. And then the door was open. And then the darkness that was still there, that was, you know, I said it was somewhere at the side. It began to move into the door that was open. This darkness could actually move. It, it, it's almost as if it was in motion. I've never seen anything like it before. Immediately, I tried to make meaning of what I was seeing. And then the Spirit of the Lord came to me in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 saying, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Then I asked the Holy Spirit, what is this? What does this mean? And then he said, so many people go into prayer for a partner. And because it is not in our father's plan that his children should be alone, he grants them their desires. And as soon as their needs are met and the two become one, either in a relationship or they, or they become legally married, they all of a sudden forget God or they leave God out of the equation. Now for unmarried couples who have become one, and when I say this, who have become one with their partners, and when I say this, I mean for couples out there who are having sex outside of marriage, without the spiritual covering and protection that comes with marriage, this oneness opens doors for the enemy, who then begins to have legal rights over your life. Now, in the vision, the enemy was described as the god of this world, the ruler of this world. That these, these sins, okay, are opening the doors for the enemy, who is the god of the world, who is the ruler of this world, the god of this world and ruler of this world, to have legal rights over your life, more or less. And this is what that darkness signified. Now, before I go on, I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't even know that it was literally written in scripture, like it was emphatically written in scripture in the Bible. And I'll, 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 I'll prove it later on in this video that, the, that Satan is the God of this world. I didn't even know that. So it's after I had this vision that I had to pick up my Bible and then check Look for scriptures that literally says that. So, let me just go on with this, okay? Now, for the married couples who have also become one, but they don't have God at heart, and they don't have God at the center, you are also opening doors for the enemy to dwell with you. As Christians, as believers, if we are living in a world of sin and wickedness, as scripture says, in 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And if Satan is the God of this world, as stated in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, that the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believeth not, lest the, dark, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine unto them. God is not present where there is sin. It says in Psalm 23 verse 4, 
say yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me god is not in the shadow of death god is not in the valley of the shadow of death God is not found in the valley of the shadow of death, but God can be with you in the valley of the shadow of death. And it says in the verse 6 that, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. I will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. You cannot achieve this if you have taken God out of the equation. This can be likened literally to biting the hand that feeds you. How do you exempt God from the gifts that he has given you? Now for whoever this message is for. God wants you to know that he has interest in you. He, he, he really, he very much has interest in everything that you do and in everything that concerns you. God wants to bring you back to him. To open your eyes. To turn you from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto him, unto God. That you may receive forgiveness of sins and blessings that come by faith in Christ Jesus. As written in Acts chapter 26 verse 18. God wants to deliver you. For it says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 to the 14 that God had delivered us. From the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins repent ask for forgiveness of sins renounce every covenant and agreements that you have made with the enemy by means of the sins that you may have committed and come into covenant with god through christ jesus God is calling on to you now. God wants to draw you back to him. God wants to bring you back to him. God wants to love upon you. God wants to manifest himself to you in your life. So come back to him. Come into covenant with God if you, if you don't already have a covenant with him. If you don't already have a relationship with him. And make it a point never to return to your old ways again. Shalom.